I have seen a lot of your gorgeous work, but look at this. Tell me what this is. Well, I know you've never seen it before. I have uh, not. Unless you were watching the finals of the ATP uh, Tour Champion of Champions. Uh, the commission came from the ATP who started to orchestrate. That's tennis. That's, tennis. That's uh, the professional tour. And they were trying to coordinate that top seeds would end up at most of the major tournaments, which was difficult to do. So they decided they'd take charge of that. But as a payback for the athletes, they said, we'll get the top eight seeds. We'll get together. You'll play in a tournament. You'll get money and points for each match you win at the end. He'll be the champion of champions. Well, I interpret that as we're well, going to be the king of tennis. The well, they king agreed. of tennis. And so I get it. This actually is the prince size. This is the runner up. What? Yeah, because the king size is obviously larger. Yes. And the way we came up with how big should the crown be. Tell me. I thought we will end up with prototypes that we can show in our gallery and so forth. So I said, I put a caliper on my head. That became the diameter for the king's crown. Okay. It was in the case the first year Andre Agassi won the crown, went over, there were armed guards, he said, please, I have to have the crown, takes the crown, raises it up, the crowd is screaming, puts it on his head right down to his shoulders. <laughs> well, it came flying off as fast as it went on, and the moral of this story is I've got a bigger head than Andre Agassi. <laughs> this is gorgeous. This is really beautiful. Well, I will explain that the plumes are made of four on either side, and that is obviously representing the eight uh, seeds, but there's one in the middle, and the, one, the reason there's one in the middle is that my son was a uh, tennis player, and a, hopefully to become a very great tennis player, and I want to remind these guys that how they're enjoying this tournament now, there's always an Andrew Yenowin coming up.